Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War and the Great German Empire. We've started moving on the Eastern Front, but right now a more pressing matter is at hand, which is the Western Front, and we need to smack these frogs around. What? Someone needs to stand and fight me. There's a lot of there's there's a possibility for a lot of jokes about French running away. Um I could what I could do is I could move the army real close, then detach the cannons, attack the enemy and wait for the cannons to turn up and then fight. You know what? We need we need to fight these idiots. I'll detach the cannons and that will give these guys time to move up and we'll move on the larger army. No, we'll move on this one because that probably will give a better resupply of the guns. So we're dealing with about 7,000 Frenchies and we have 3,000. Uh, maybe I should have moved up the others but um, it's in our favor just because of the fact that there is a lot of... Now I know why the French have so many men. They only have a load of bloody conscripts and cavalry and stuff. This is basically only cav cavalry, cavalry, cavalry and conscripts. So no wonder they've got these large forces. But the, um, the German army and the... French army during the actual war uh, relied heavily on conscripts and they had a conscription system so uh, unlike say the English army which had more of a smaller core of troops uh, in a professional army and they also had experience from fighting in in the, uh, in the different colonial war look how nice I've got this nice stone wall going right across almost my entire front line here except for here that we've got some fences. But I d I'm not going to be needing building anything because I can just hide behind these walls. Um, we're going to have the Finnish Jaegers. Uh, they're already deployed on the sides. That's good. Right, but we're going to have everyone else form at the wall. Let's go ahead and start this, and we'll drag them out all along the wall. And then we have the uh, Finnish Jaegers spread out formation. The enemy is going to come from that direction, so the Jaegers will move like so. And what I'll do is we'll drag this out a bit further. We'll drag this all the well all the way like this and then we'll start to get this on quickly cannons the thing is the cannons got extreme range in this mod so we don't actually have to move that far from our starting locations you will move over there and i don't think the um, what's it called I don't think we will lose that much in terms of accuracy by firing at long range. Okay, so we've got French cavalry closing in. The Finnish Jaegers are ready and firing. Cavalry fires back. They managed to take out a few of our men, but they not going to be, be able to withstand uh, most of it. We got some fire here. We're going to move these two back and we're going to have the Jaegers take their place here since we got flank fire basically coming in. And this weakened unit will set up on the wall. And the guns are in. 
We'll let it move a bit further, then I'll stop it and let them start firing upon the enemy. Since the enemy is going to come with so many more men, we're going to have to break down 7,000 Frenchmen. We're going to play it as safe as we can. Finnish Jaegers are taking quite a bit of uh, damage here from the French conscripts. Right, the guns are ready. Deploy. Yeah, the Finnish Jaegers are not doing that well. I guess it's because the enemy is hiding in the forest there. But they're moving off now. In a weird way. Like they always do. It looks a bit weird when everyone's sort of just the same here along the wall. Okay, the Finnish Jaegers are definitely not doing well. Here. Get behind the wall. Oh, here comes the artillery. Starts crashing in upon the enemy. What I think we'll do is we'll mobilize more units to deal with the enemy just coming in from the side of the map. I'm guessing that the AI is not actually going to do that much about Okay, um I want you to aim a bit further here somewhere in the middle To hopefully get some more kills out of this So here we go, our next cavalry unit coming in You two will also spread out along here and we'll see about ambushing them as soon as they get out of get out of their position there. We might run out of time just to attack the these bastards. But we'll see, we'll see. The Finnish Jaeger is now hidden in the forest. Should do a lot better. And we got some form of colonial cavalry by the French moving up here. Finnish Jäger gained the chevron. These guys ready. Ready to release their fire. It's kind of nice how uh, the enemy reinforcements seem to be turning up just there at the end of the road. Continue on. Continue to move forwards. Here comes another cavalry unit. And in case these would be these units would be uh, overrun, uh, we still have the walls here. How's it going with the artillery? Okay, they're aiming for a unit over here. I'm not sure. I I think didn't they didn't they have a higher rate of fire? I'm sort of feel feels like they should have a a lot higher rate of fire. You know what? We can. How about we aim for their cavalry? Boom! Destruction. Once that one's gone, which I imagine will be pretty soon, there we go. Should be able to move up and set up so that we, as soon as the enemy make it through, right out of there, we'll kill them. There might still be uh, quite a bit of cavalry coming out over there. 
it's an easy way of getting rid of uh, the reinforcement army. Hopefully, we're hitting the cavalry with artillery and we'll get rid of them as soon as these get out of here they'll get fired upon let's see boom bad thing of course is they will be able to give one shot and you're gone Ah, uh, th this unit was hit even before it turned up because of stray fire. So they already lost a bat. They lost nine men. We'll keep monitoring this location because here is where the fight is going down. No wonder. I I thought the the French had like massive armies because we'd seen some with cannons and stuff. It turns out it's all conscript and cavalry. So it, the uh, the power of the French is quite inflated, I must say. Oh, here we go. Here's a actual regiment. Let's see how well we fight one of those. And they're on the field. They're moving up. We're going to take a lot more casualties this time around. But the enemy is also taking quite a load of casualties. We're slaughtering the French. The 10th Regiment. I'm quite, they're not retreating yet. Oh, what luck. Stray shot just blew up their general. The bastard is no more. Maybe we could mobilize then and attack the main French force. I probably would need more men to deal with the troops coming out of here. We can take these two send them up and then we would have the rest of our line first of all spread out and then move along here to get into a position to attack the enemy the French are sending men to uh, aid the troops that are turning up there. Finnish Jaegers will set up in the forest and this unit will come through here. Right now they're not firing back but this is a this is gonna be difficult. Conscript unit was defeated quite rapidly but this is gonna drag our attention away from uh, from the main fight as it were thing is the Finnish Jaeger have increased range so they should be able to fire from where uh, the enemy can't return fire let's have the artillery find another target nice another good hit there on the rifle cavalry I think it looks as though most are quite affected by, well, it seems to be going here and there of who's affected by the um, the death of the general. We sent these guys off. Everyone that moves in here seems to be quite affected by uh, the general dying. And they get hit even before they turn up. Kind of a cheap move, but... That's what, we, what that was. Ha that's what we got to do if we're gonna defeat an army of seven thousand Frenchmen when we only have about half the force. And given that they have after these, they probably have at least um, 
just the same kind of stack waiting for us. Okay, let's move this more quickly, get this show on the road and break the main army. I don't think it's uh, long for this world. Now the general's really routed. We've got this area of complete massacre where the French keep marching in. I seem to have quite the quite the luck by accidentally. I know I targeted the British general, but I've I've killed quite a lot of enemy generals just by accident by uh, them riding around in an area they probably shouldn't be riding around in. Right, let's wait until our forces are all set up correctly. And then we'll advance upon the... Actually, let's just go ahead and do it. Advance within fire range. And let's break the main army. We are coming under fire by the French now, but I think once we start to fire, they'll break. That's a lot of heavy fire going down. We're gonna aim for the ones that still have some fighting spirit in them. Probably some stray fire is gonna get all the way back to the rifle cavalry. Yeah, they're, they're losing some men as well. This was a lot easier than I thought it would be. A lot easier. Let's go ahead and target some of the cav there in the back. Yeah, the, the French army is about to completely collapse. Let's push further. Yeah, look at that. Complete collapse is going on. I think this is the last one out of the reinforcement army. I, I believe I saw them going in the last... The third light foot chasseur. Now we're targeting the... Uh, the remaining troops of the French army. Probably the, the cavalry usually team kills each other so they probably did that to themselves. Boom! They're all breaking up and retreating. Problem is of course um, the Frenchmen will still be there. We killed quite a lot of them. But they're still going to be there because, as you can see, most of the units here have at least a hundred men left in them as they retreat. It looks as though there's not going to be any more reinforcement units. And right now there's only one, the 40th, four, 40th Regiment. Actually, they run, run as well. And we are victorious. The German army, by chance, has won an heroic victory on the front. And uh, we only lost 500 men and we killed 5,000 Frenchmen. Heroic victory for Germany. And we even got one of these uh, victory of w battle of the uh, Von Champs March, March 1916, victory over France. Very good, very good. Um, not gonna repair this because the French are gonna come in again and uh, burn it. I thought he died. Didn't he die? He's, ni he's 94 years old. Airshipsman. Friends in government. So uh, he's an old geezer who's friends with the 
the uh, political class in France. Let's see, what are we doing up here? Nothing right now. Let's go ahead and then turn. See what we can do. If this is the force which the French are mobilizing against us, we could start to push against the French as well. Path blocked. Buildings constructed. Let's repair this. I think the Russians built this because I clearly didn't. And did they destroy the autonomy level? Seems they did. What did I build that? I'm not sure. I don't think I did. The mortars are on the way. There is nothing here to really stop us advancing further. And there's nothing to stop us over here. Ah! There actually is a large force. Question is if they've got artillery. That's the main thing to watch out for. I don't think we're going to be able to attack them this turn. Let's see. We can move this army back to safety to resupply the troops. And then we can see about pushing this army out, which probably should just be just as easy. I think one of the problems with the French might be that they don't. They didn't build. Or they haven't built an industry that will actually allow them to uh, build cannons. It would be nice if I could build. Uh, I've I've already said that so many times. Um, if I could build railroads through Germany, I can upgrade some of these to get some more cash. We'll push money in. To get more, you gotta spend money to make money. Homeless shelter. Not sure if that's entirely necessary. It could be pretty good to have a homeless shelter if we build this into an industrial mill instead and have artillery being built out of here rather than having artillery built out of here because here they're quite unhappy so for the eastern front we could build artillery out of this place and infantry out of this uh, mm -mm -mm. let's see politics how much money am I making where do I see that there we go I seem to have increased it a little bit town watch we pay 55 for that. I think it's <laughs> interesting how the... Uh, what happened there with Serbia and the, Greek, the Greeks have taken it. They went from being completely destroyed to doubling the size of their territory. More than doubling the size of the territory. Improved field artillery. Good. It gets more experience. Does this mean that I can build... Where can I build field artillery then? Can I build that everywhere? Or just at the... No, I'm gonna need Im improved factories for that. Do I need maybe to upgrade this to improve... To improve what kind of... Um, guns I can recruit. Does this enable the guns? Was that dragoons that they had there? Mounted infantry. Cavalry modernization. Where is that technology? Cavalry. Hmm. There we go. Cavalry modernization. That could be a good thing. Um. If this does it, it will only be uh, 20. That might be better. Plus, increased unionization. Yes. And you will do aircraft. Because aircraft will allow me to have more spies. And enables the construction of landing strips. So instead of having uh, autonomy levels in some areas, I will build landing strips to have start building aircrafts in some regions that I might not need it if we say I boost 
the construction in areas like these so that I don't need uh, the autonomy level I could build aircrafts there instead to start spying on my enemies uh, yes eastern front next time around I think I will go ahead and test f and fight them there and then now that the mortars have arrived I think this army let's see can it move out yes they will still be sort of happy ish so that means we could go ahead and close that down but I think the march on Moscow and crushing the Russians that way is probably going to be the most important part so he's going to continue towards Smolensk hopefully we're going to beat the Russians in Petrograd um, maybe I can mobilize these units of uh, landwehr that I have in the conquered regions if I can mobilize some more of them and we can see about attacking this army here now this army of course broke down two of my landwehr units when they were fighting them but I think it wasn't actually a good idea to have them in the house we probably reduced the firepower which we otherwise could have been able to use uh, to kill them and we allowed the enemy to um, be able to use um, their superior melee capability against us so uh, that's probably one way that we can beat them we can also start now when we start know that we can sort of start beating the French um, we should see about getting a general here and we'll advance upon the Belgians and we'll push them out of the war and then the French and once the French are gone we have the Spanish, the Italians and the British left the, probably someone else is going to join them by that point someone's going to be angry about all the territory I'm gaining um, I could enact my plan here with attacking Denmark and allying with Sweden so there's a lot of stuff going forwards here but um, wait let's see do I have any diplomatic options not really I want to be able to start trading ah Sweden trades with France and Spain we could um, somehow get them to break their tr trade embargoes in Spain and France in exchange for I don't know every single bloody technology I have and um, if they break that I should be able to they did ha huh. then I can open trade with Sweden and we can request an alliance hmm, that's unacceptable right now but once I declare war upon the Danish the Danish are more friendly but I'd rather be allied with Sweden because it looks as though Sweden actually have a, has a navy unlike Denmark Denmark doesn't even seem to have a port where is then the Danish port ah there it is but I am Swedish, so we're gonna we're gonna help the Swedes to create greater Sweden. Um, anyways, looking at the time here, I think we're about to go ahead and end this. So, hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.